And he would say that I was just like him. Yes, you said, Danny. You said I was just like you. Well, look who's laughing now. Hmm. That's not the kind of love that gets you into heaven. Now, my mother was a cow. It is not a metaphor. <laughs> she was a cow. <laughs> I know she wasn't the mother that birthed me, but she was the mother I had, and we took care of each other. I made sure she was warm. I checked her for lice. She gave me her milk and she loved me. Now you can judge it. That's your right. That's your God given right. But I'm going to tell you something. She was the most fantastic parent in the world. <clears throat> She'd feed me. She wouldn't try to make me be nothing I didn't want to be. Now go ahead. Tell me your mother was better. <laughs> tell me she loved you more. And she didn't love you. Shh, da Daddy, shh. Can't hear you, Daddy. Let me demonstrate my mother and daddy's relationship. Fanny, I love you so much. <laughs> I remember the first song we danced to, Fanny. Sing with me, baby. Wise man say that I can't help falling in love. It was silly the way he always thought she was singing with him when she didn't even sing. He wanted her to be something that she weren't. And he would, he would steal. Fanny, give me some of that milk. That milk is for me. Hmm. Hmm. Mouth on teat is for children. Not for daddies. <laughs> That's not the kind of love that gets you into heaven. I promised my mother every night I'd set her free. Free from him. Free from that relationship that was unreciprocal. And I made good on my word. Now that took fortitude. That took love. Do you know that love? That's the love. Death! Daddy always said he wanted an immaculate suicide. You know, he'd say it to himself, and he'd say it to my mother, and he'd say it to me. An immaculate suicide. <laughs> Since I was told I was going to die, I thought about death a little bit. Exodus 21, 12, he that smite the man so that he die shall be surely put to death. So today I'm just obeying the law of the Lord and the law of the land. When it's time, children. It's time. Forgiveness. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. John 1, 9, but Daddy, he got something wrong. He made me confess to him. And he wasn't no priest. Did you confess your sins to a real confessor? No. 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 You might end up just fine. You do. And I'll be seeing you quite soon. You see, one day Daddy taught me about mechanics, lawnmower mechanics. This is a lawnmower, and she needs her oil. I'm gonna teach you how to do that, my boy. First, you gotta tell me which hole the gas was in, and don't get it wrong, or I'll whip you with my belt. <laughs> it was a lesson and a test. Which hole was for gas, and which hole was for oil? I, uh, I don't remember, sir. Disrespecting your father. You know that's a sin, boy. Yes, sir. 
You know where this shit is go, don't you, boy? Yes, yes, sir. You gonna confess, boy? I got down on my knees. At least once a day I confessed to daddy. I was only 11 years old, but I had knees like leather. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been one day since my last confession. I accuse myself of the following sins. I have disrespected you, Father, sir, by not remembering the teachings you've done taught me. But I'm, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm trying, sir. It, 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 I'm, I'm trying, it, it, may, it, it, may, it, may, it may not, it may not seem that impressive, sir, but I am trying, I promise, I promise. Now first daddy got sad. And then daddy got mad. <laughs> then he started muttering to himself, oh Jesus, what are we going to do? What are we going to do with this child, Jesus? You don't remember. You don't remember what the teachers have done. Jesus, 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 what are we going to do with this child? Blasphemer. <clears throat> you see, Daddy thought he could talk to Jesus when in fact I could talk to him. I was better at it. He kept mishearing what Jesus had to say. Blasphemer. You see, Jesus said, forgive him. But daddy, he heard, whip him. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know how he said that? He said, forgive him, not whip him. <laughs> One, two, three, four, I love you, my boy. After that, I went to my room to talk to Jesus. I went inside where daddy wouldn't hear us talk. I told him what I'd been feeling in my heart. You see, I was getting older and I, I saw a daddy and I saw how I could be like him and I did not want that. So, so I said, Jesus, sir. Jesus, sir, tell me what to do. Tell, tell, tell me what to do, Jesus, sir. I'll do anything not to be like him, Jesus, sir. I'll do anything. I'll do anything. I love you, sir. I love you, sir. I love you, sir. I love you, sir. I love you, Jesus, sir. But I'll do anything not to be like him. And then Jesus spoke back to me. You're just a boy of eleven. But there's a spot in heaven for a young lad named Marcus. Your father deserves no place on earth, not even his rotten carcass. If he asks for forgiveness, he'll receive admittance into my eternal lair. He must be rejected and then subjected to the devil's fire air. You don't want him? You don't want him? I asked. No, my boy. He deserves no joy. This is your reason to be. You must kill your daddy and set your mama free. Justice. Thus saith the Lord, keep ye judgment and do justice. For my salvation is near to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. Isaiah 56, 1. I went back outside. I started the lawn mower. <laughs> Father, sir, uh, I, I need help with something. Some, something stopping the blades from spinning. Okay, well, tilt her up there. Let me have a look. <laughs> Father, sir, can you, can you see anything? No, I can't see nothing. Father, sir, have you asked for forgiveness for your sins today? What? No. <laughs> crunch, crunch. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
my mother. I looked into her troubled eyes for the last time and I let her go through the trees. Do you know what it feels like to lead a fulfilled life? Probably not. I've done what I was charged to do and in seconds I'll be in heaven forever. I will die quickly. I will die easily. I will die with no regrets. Will you? When's the last time God spoke to you? When's the last time you saved someone you loved? You came here today to watch a man die. I don't envy you. You spend your lives being afraid of what's next, and you should. You should be scared. You should fear perdition. You're called this world, but you won't call it beautiful if you're an optimist. Call it sad if you're depressive. Call it enigmatic if you're a brick. But if you are smart, you know that life is short and the afterlife is eternity. Thank you so much.